Well, all right, wonderful, wonderful. Well, um, uh, of course, we're uh, looking forward to um, James Fentress's counselor talk, the headliner for today. Looking forward to that very, very much. Um, to be followed by uh, Mr. Ainsley's uh, uh, announcement of, um, of the leadership, the new leadership for um, uh, the coming year, um, for next year. And we're excited about that. I, um, I wanted to begin just with a kind of announcement, a, a really fun announcement, an exciting announcement. Um, Sterling Jameson Aldridge, the son of Mr. Aldridge and Ms. Jameson. We were born two days ago at six pounds one ounce, six pounds one ounce, and 19 and a half inches long. So good, healthy baby, and um, mom and dad and baby are all doing well, so we're really grateful for that. So, for this and all good things, let's pray. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for this life, all the treasures of this life, its joys, its wonders, its lessons, even the lessons hidden in its sorrows. Lord, we thank you so much for the gift of new life expressed in little Sterling, and we pray that you would bless him um, each and every day. We pray that as he grows, he would grow in the knowledge and love of you um, to be a faithful disciple of yours. Bring blessing to his life and blessing to his family, we pray. Bless us this day as we gather. Um, give us the kind of joy and enthusiasm that comes when we hear the richness of another person's story. Pour out your blessing upon James as he shares with us and give us ears to hear this day. We pray this all in Christ's name. Amen. Well, dear friends, um, uh, Mr. Knabel has the privilege of being a James' uh, advisor, and so I invite the two of them to come now for a Fentress Knabel moment. I've been James, uh, James's advisor left last year, and James picked me. Uh, I think he picked me to be his new advisor. Uh, I had never taught James before. I think I may have coached him in Deacon soccer in the ninth grade, but Deacon soccer is such a surreal experience that after practice, it would always seem like a strange and discombobulating dream. Um, and certainly, I can't imagine that James would have seen me as the assistant coach to Deacon soccer and three years later think, uh, this is a man with wisdom and skill to be my advisor. The truth is, I have no idea why James picked me, uh, but I've had the pleasure of working with him in the honor committee this year, and an even greater pleasure in teaching him in a class called Experimental Literature. In this class, I more or less, students, more or less let students uh, experiment with writing, and they can go in any path they like, so long as the word count is there. James's book was inspired by a dream he had. It involves dead fascists who have the lower halves of their bodies replaced by octopus tentacles. He also has ex-presidents and bowling, and this is just in the first chapter. Later, there's a thing called the Medusa device that may possibly be run by the engine from a 1998 Toyota Tercel. The Rice Krispie elves are in there, as are the Keebler elves, uh, led by their patriarch, Ernie. Um, at one point, um, the narrator in James's book meets Ernie, the, the, the patriarch of the Keebler Alves, uh, living underground in the sewers. And, and uh, he says, this is our home. We've made our, little, our own little village here in the sewers. So you live under the city, the narrator asks. Ha, ha. Well, you could say that, but I kind of like to think of it as the city lives on top of us, said Ernie. And that sort of ha, ha, and the saying that like you're living in a sewer and the city lives on top of you is really emblematic of kind of James's uh, outlook in life. Why am I telling you all this, of course? Uh, this because one thing I have learned from James is that life should be fun uh, and that you should be willing to prepare to keep James into this moment. At one point in this book, James has the elves speaking in their own language. We have sort of joked that I might use this language that James invented for these elves in my introduction to his counselor talk. So here it goes. One of the elves spoke, but he had a very thick accent that made everything he said incoherent. Gra, 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 gru, gri, gri, gra, 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 gru, 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 gra, gri, gra, 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 gru, gra, gri, gru, gra, 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 gri, gru. This goes on for about a page. I'll stop there. Um, 
And so then the narrator, and I love this, the narrator says, I was unable to decipher any of this elf talk, so I turned to another elf, and I said, what did he say? And that elf responds, right, you may not be able to understand him. The other elf said, what he said was, gra, 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 gru, gri, gra, gra, gru, gru, gri, gra, 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 gru, gri, gra, gra. And for another page. All right, uh, and that is quite brilliant, as James is. All right, so I think this officially will be a longer introduction than his actual speech. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to invite for an inaugural performance by the Virginia Episcopal Schools a cappella group, the communal, uh, the communal onions. Get on up there. All right, y'all line up in front of the mic. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll point at you. Where's Hunter? You starting? Okay. Okay. And a one, a two, a one, two, three. James. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Testing, testing. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Can you all hear me? No. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Knable, and thank you to my SMAC class for that performance. Um, so I do want to clear this up. I did write this counselor talk 20 minutes ago. However, my message would not have changed if I had written it months ago because I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this platform. And all I really want to do is thank every student at this school. Um, you all have this weird, uncanny ability to make every day here, regardless of it being good or bad, somehow better. Um, and to the seniors, I owe you the biggest thank you. Um, it's been a privilege to go to school with you, and um, every one of you has made this experience so much better for me in more ways than you can imagine. And so I want to thank every student here. I want to thank all the teachers who have ever taught me and all the coaches who have ever uh, coached me. And I want to thank you all for listening to my counselor talk. That is it. <laughs> thank you.